I'm Jason, and I'm here with my friend Esther. Hi. And we are on location shooting a film for Teacher's Discovery about Mexican culture. Some people think of culture as art. Some people think of culture as history. But culture is also about food, especially here in Mexico. This is the country that gave us chocolate, vanilla, corn, beans, squash, tomatoes, chilies, chilies, and more chilies, over 140 different kinds of them. So come with us behind the scenes to get a taste of what I'm talking about. The food here is fresh, exotic, like nothing I've ever experienced. Forget about the burritos and nachos you know at home. Come share the magic that is Mexico and the spirit that is conjured up in their food. <laughs> One morning while shooting weekend in Mexico City, we headed south to Xochimilco, a maze of canals that are all that's left of three lakes the Spaniards filled in to make what is today Mexico City. The canals are filled with colorfully painted boats called trajineras that locals and tourists alike flock to for celebrations, parties, or an afternoon escape. Mariachi and marimba bands cruise the canals for hire while smaller boats offer food and drink. So, corn is a huge snack here, huh? Yeah, it is. We should get some. Do you want some? I do. You gotta try it. Huh? <laughs> it smells like a campfire. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Aquí preparando sus elotes. Muy bien, muy bien. Elote. Pero así, sí. So, the thing with corn here is that you can put lemon juice and salt and chili powder, and that's good. But there's another version of it. You put mayo in it. And then salt and lemon juice and I don't the entire want, thing. I like mayonnaise and corn, but I don't think I like it. It's like I don't want You gotta try it. I'm not, all right. You gotta try it. It's I'll really good, it. I promise you. Gracias. <laughs> Spicy, like everything we eat here. The cheese is good, but I don't think I like the mayonnaise. This is good. This is amazing. This is a good deal. So Jason, corn is a big deal here in Mexico. It is the basis of almost everything we eat. We like to call it vitamin G. It comes in tacos, tortillas, tamales, tlacoyos. Just as in Asia they have rice, in Europe they have wheat, we have corn. We call corn maíz. The dough is called masa, which is used to make tortillas, tamales, and many other things. Maíz was developed from grasses by the ancients over 9,000 years ago right here in the heart of Mexico. The crop was sacred, created for men by the gods. The ancients would first soak the corn in lye to cure it, then grind it to a paste and made into masa. This process releases almost all the essential nutrients to support life. Together with beans, corn processed in this way make a complete protein that allow an empire to thrive. Esther told me that Mexico City was sinking, about 35 feet in the last 100 years. I guess that's what happens when a city of 24 million people is built on a lake bed. But it's like the whole city is leaning in different directions. It's crazy. This morning we're having breakfast at Sanborns, in a building that dates back to the 1500s. It's a really tilted building. I didn't push it either, I just put it on the ground and it just rolled. Sarah got me this great drink called Siete Frutas, made of seven fruits. So good. Do you have breakfast burritos here? No, we don't. That is a Texan thing. The thing is that our main meal is halfway through the day. Dinner, I'm talking about dinner around 9 or 10 p.m. And this is called? Divorced eggs. Divorced eggs. It makes sense. Which one do you want to eat? The green or the red? Oh, you got to try both. So I salt the, what do you say again? Gemma. Gemma, and then I break it with the bread, right? Uh-huh. Before I eat it, oh, this bread is go really like this, hot. Go like this, go like this. Now I eat this, right? Oh, that's good. Huevos rancheros. Now how is this different than the red egg on divorciados? The sauce is different. Oh. I show you like that. It's like salsa. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I like how everything comes with refried beans. Yeah. So what do we have now? 
tacos dorados de pollo, fried chicken tacos. That's sour cream and cheese. That's good. In the United States, our hard taco shells aren't rolled up like this. They just stay up like this. They just stand there. <laughs> Chilaquiles with a sunny side up egg on top. Now what's that? That is fried tortilla with sauce. It has melted cheese on top, onions, and a different green sauce. The green sauce is really good, but I, uh, I wouldn't order this. I would order this. Clearly, rancheros or divorciados wins for me. It's a lot of bread, though, if you think about it. We had bread before the meal, bread with the meal, tortilla chips. I'd be Gordo if I lived here. There's food everywhere in Mexico, in the restaurants, on the streets, taco stands and roving vendors sell everything you can imagine, and of course, at the markets. Every Mexican town and village has its market where people shop every day for fruit, vegetables, meat, and fish. All of it fresh and fantastically great. So, Esther, we're in a gorgeous, beautiful, colorful place. Where are we? This market is called La Merced. La Merced. Yeah, this is a place where you can buy almost everything you can think of. Right. Chiles, vegetables, fruits, piñatas, I mean. Piñatas, yes. Toys, candy, whatever, whatever you can think of. Fresh fruit, tons of it. And it's really fresh, really, really fresh. I, I can't, I love how fresh these are. Yeah, so the tomatoes fresh. are just amazing here. This is a green tomato. Ah, All yes. the green sauces that you see are made out of this tomatoes and chili. Right. So the red tomato, we call it jitomate. Jitomate. So you can buy these corn husks all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, and they're dry right now. They're not Yeah, humid. these are the corn leaves that we use to put the tamale inside and cook right. it, and then we eat it. And we have good, here really the banana paper, right? There's different kinds of tamales. that are like wrapped in corn leaves, and then the tamal oaxaqueño, which is wrapped in banana leaves. I can't believe how many banana leaves are here. There's hmm, tons of them. You have no idea how many tamales are eaten every single day in Mexico. And beans. as you can see, beans, different sizes, white bean, rice. This is all part of a daily diet. There's this Mexican dish that is uh, made out of this chilies, and they put uh, meat and cheese inside of this. And That's like, the poblano chili, isn't it? Uh-huh. It's so good. You have to try it. So you say those are not hot, though? They might be a little hot. This, this is hot stuff. A pharmacist named Scoville came up with a way of scoring the heat content in a chili in 1912. What makes them hot is an oil called capsicum. Bell paper shrank at zero. Here is a jalapeno, which shrank 6,000 units. It is considered a mild to medium hot chili. Habaneros are one of the hottest chilies measuring 300,000 units or more. All the chilies here are like uh, amazing. There's like a million <laughs> kinds of chilies here. So all these are used for cooking? Yeah, and like all the sauces that you have tried are made out of these chilies. 
you cut them in little pieces, you put them with tomatoes, with uh -huh. green tomatoes, right. and you make amazing sauces. Some of them are hotter than the other ones, but you're gonna have to try all of them. Here we go. I've heard about this, but I haven't seen it. This is a delicacy here? Yes, it is. What is it? Obviously it's insects, but what are they? Chapulines. Chapulines? Cricket? It's sort of like a cricket. Con limon. This is the first time in my entire life I've eaten an insect, ever. They're just kind of like salty, crunchy snacks, like, but it's not disgusting. I just ate this insect right here. Have you seen Mexico in a map? Yes. You know how it's almost surrounded by water entirely? Right. So we eat a bunch of seafood here. So I want you to try some. Okay. This is delicious. Look, this is all called ceviche. Ceviche. There's like fish ceviche, octopus ceviche, oyster ceviche. They make it with uh, tomatoes and chili and, and onions. And they chop everything. They put lemon in it. You can also order different dishes here. I want you to try some because this is amazing. Like, cool. you cannot go to Mexico and not try seafood here. That right there is a huachinango, and the way it's cooked is called a la talla. A la talla. They, cook, they cooked it in this um, banana leaves and they put this sauce on top. That is made with chile guajillo. You remember that we were talking about how Mexico gave us chiles? <laughs> 140 <laughs> kinds of them. This is one of them. It's very good. It's, it's, not even, it's not even spicy, it's just good. I'm gonna eat the eyeball if you want me to. Chew, 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 chew. Come on. It's really tough. Oh, it's really tough. It's like eating a, it's like eating a rock. <laughs> it's like so hard. <laughs> Jesus, spit it out. That's you're not supposed to eat that. Ask the waiter if you're supposed to eat that. <laughs> I am Mr. Fish. <laughs> Caldo de camarón. It's soup of shrimp. And it has some clams. Oh, nice. Carrot. And carrot. And the broth is like a seafood broth. That's magnificent. You like that? That should be at like every beach town in the world. Shooting the culture of Latin dance was a blast. In a plaza in Mexico City, we met this guy who tried to teach us some trick steps from a Cuban dance called Danzón. In Mexico, wherever people gather, there is street food that smells delicious. After all the dancing, I had to try some. That looks uh, good. So, are you hungry? Always. So this is a tlacoyo. It's made out of blue corn. It has the stuff inside, and it's shaped like that. Blue corn? Yes. <laughs> Can I get one? Sure, totally. What's the green uh, stuff? It's kind of like spinach, but it's yeah. something different. It's called quelites. Gracias. Let's go. So I'm starting on this end, the spinach end. Quelites. Quelites. Kind of like spinach, but not spinach. Oh, it's very good. I, I gotta like, try it. Get... I like the blue tortilla. That's hot. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. us. It is really hot. Yeah, it's piping. Ah, oh, gracias. <laughs> gracias.
what are we doing tonight, is there? Okay. You haven't tried this. Okay, it's what called is it? al pastor. Okay. These, are, these are really popular tacos in Mexico. Uh -huh. And the thing is that the way they cook it is that they put the slices of meat and they put these condiments on top. That's why you look you look at the meat and it's kind of orangey That's and the reddish. Sauce. They put the pineapple on top and all those slices of meat are like uh, stuck together and then they put them all in the stick that is like inside of it. Uh -huh. And then this guy is the one that is in charge of cooking everything evenly. So he's turning the thing so they get cooked by the fire so and it's really good. They put onions and cilantro on top and uh -huh. then you, you put the lemon juice and the sauces if you want to. I, I really like how he catches the pineapple. I know, Here I know. Here he goes. He's going to do it now. You have to be talented. Oh, to do it. snag it. So, you want to get some? Let's get some. So what Mexican treat do we have now, Esther? Oh, these are churros. Churros are so good. Is this a uh, crunchy fried sweet bread uh -huh. that they cover with uh, sugar or cinnamon and sugar? Looks good. Can I try it? Let me bite. That's good. Gracias. Here we go. The end of the long day. It's late. You need a meal. You can actually get Domino's in Mexico. All right, Vladi, tell us what's on this Mexican pizza. Chorizo, and this is jalapeno. So we have the tomato sauce, the cheese, the chorizo or Mexican sausage, the meatballs, jalapenos, yeah. onions, and salsa. It's got a punch. It's day two. That's a wrap. Fruit. Yes, but I want what, you to what? try something that I totally love. What's that? It's called licuado. Do you know what a licuado is? No. Okay. It's a uh, blended fruit with milk. Do you know what a mame is? Mame? Mame is my favorite fruit ever. Uh-huh. So you don't have it in the States, mame? Nope. Okay, well, then you have to try it in a, in a milkshake. Okay. So, you know what's funny? What's that? That the blender is even more important than the television in a Mexican house. Really? Yeah. Nothing's more important than a television in an American house. Okay. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Esther? I want you to meet my tia. What does my tia mean? My aunt. Your aunt. Tia means aunt. Come in. Hey. Hola, tia. Él es mi amigo Jason. Hola. Gabriela and Marta. Hola. So I wanted to bring bring you here because they're cooking tamales today and I want you to learn how to make them. So do you remember, the, you tried tamales already, Yes, remember? I've eaten them, yes. And now you'll be able to cook your own back home. Great. If you pay attention and learn. I'm, These are the corn leaves, uh -huh. right? This is mole. Do you know what mole is? I know that it's a sauce, but that's all I know. It is a sauce, but it's really interesting. Let me tell you the story behind mole poblano. Like sometime in the 16th century, this important bishop came to Puebla, to the Convento de Santa Rosa. He dropped in like without telling anyone. So the nuns there were like going crazy because they didn't have anything ready for him to eat, right? Right. And they came up with this amazing sauce. And they put like everything they had available, like chocolates and spices and everything. That's why it's such an odd mix of stuff. And they killed the turkey they had, they cooked it, and they put this sauce on top of him. They gave the stuff to the bishop and he totally loved it. And since then, mole is like super famous, like all over Mexico. So, you'll see. But, Which ones are we going to make first? Uh, we're both? just going to follow them. Okay. Muy poca masa. So that's the masa. Lo quiere de molito. And the chicken. Se le pone el mole. And then that's when you put the mole. Fold it a little. It gets cooked with the steaming water. So una, in una hora. In one hour. This is flan. 
is made with milk, eggs, sugar, and sometimes you can put this really sweet condensed milk that we call lechera, and then you mix it all together, and then you put it in this mold, and then you put it inside a big pot with water. So it gets cooked with this uh, steaming water, and then you flip it upside down, and you get it in this plate, and then you burn a little bit of sugar, you put it on top, and it's an amazing thing. What are we gonna eat first today? We're gonna go to that restaurant over there. What's special about this place? It's pork meat. They're frying the meat right there. Wow, that looks very interesting. It looks like they just threw a pig in there. Well, <laughs> they basically did. I do love pork. This is, this is not my favorite, but it's really famous here. It's really interesting. It's is this really just ribs in here, or is like everything? Let me see. <laughs> this, this is like a port of skin, and there's like a stomach, and there's like the guts. Can you tell me what that is right there? Because that okay. looks pretty good. It's, it's, it's a face? <laughs> <laughs> When I order this, am I just gonna get whatever he wants to give me, or like, is it a mixture of everything? Oh, you can pick. So choose ears or. Uh, tell him I would specifically like the face. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's serious. okay. Then. I'm gonna be brave. I'm here to discover the food of Mexico. If I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you I don't like it. And I'm gonna try the brains. I don't know if I'm gonna try the brains. I'm definitely gonna try the, the face. Everyone says the brains, so I guess I'll do it. Maybe the heart. If I get sick, I get sick. What can I say? That's it. I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Wait till you try it. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Look at that. That's oh, a heart. The heart. That's a huge <laughs> heart. I don't think a human heart is that big. This is for you. What is this? The heart. This is pure heart. Nothing but heart. Right? Just hard. Try it. It's fantastic. It's good. Right now, I'm eating the face. What do you think? It's pretty fatty, but it's really tasty. Can you ask them to give me some of the ribs, please? You are having tongue. 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 That's really good. It's very salty, very chewy, very tender, yeah. It's way better than the heart. That's the skin, the skin that I just ate that's really good. So what am I eating right now? Brains. Brains. This is the pig's brain. That's not very good. It's good. I found something I don't particularly, I mean, I'll eat it, but I don't really love it. Brains, <laughs> pig brains. Are you ready to go? Sam. I've got brains and tongue and heart stuck in my teeth. Let's get out of here. Double Whopper with cheese, yes. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys, food here in Mexico is fantastic, but I'm really craving craving, craving a double Whopper with cheese. <laughs> you want a bite? I'm so glad to be eating something that's not made with corn and doesn't start with the letter T. Aren't you? Chicken tenders? Oh. <laughs> Touche. Where would the world be without chocolate? The ancient peoples of Mexico discovered the cacao bean and used it for everything from currency to drinks to food. They ground it into a powder, made a hot drink with a thick froth on top, and called it the nectar of the gods. We call it hot chocolate. So we have hot chocolate. It's the authentic Mexican hot chocolate. Uh -huh. They use those big pieces of chocolate, dark chocolate with sugar, uh -huh. and they put them in the hot milk steaming milk, uh -huh. and then it starts to dissolve. She, that's why she's moving it all the time, so that it gets Dissolves hot. evenly? Yeah. When it gets really hot, a thick layer of milk gets like on the very, the very top. It's called nata. Nata. Can you see it? She's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that means that it's ready. 
Smells great. There are other delicious hot drinks made with chocolate. I didn't want to be like massively alarmed. <laughs> be like, what is it? <laughs> are we good? <laughs> so, Sarah, I just got some champarado, uh -huh. and I know it's kind of like a tole. What is champarado? Okay, the difference is that champarado is made with corn. Okay, and a tole is made with and rice. And a tole is made with rice, yes. But they're similar because they taste the same? Exactly. But champurrado is, oh, every time you try champurrado, it's made with chocolate and corn. So it's like a chocolate corn warm drink. Yes. I definitely can taste the corn in this. Do you like it? I do. I like it too. Esther was an awesome guide on my journey through Mexico. She showed me things I never would have seen on my own. She took me to a restaurant in a cave called La Gruta, which specializes in food eaten since the time of the Aztecs. I had no idea what I was in for. I wish I knew what you were ordering. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Do you know what this is? Of course I know what this is. What is it? <laughs> I have no idea what those little things are. Those look like some kind of bean. This is really exciting because I have no idea what I'm about to eat. I'll tell you after your first bite. It's fantastic. Is it rice? What are those little balls? It's called escamoles. And that is? Ant eggs. Ant eggs. Mm-hmm. So that is an egg of an ant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do like so it. so good. This is also one of my favorites. You can tell that those are quesadillas. I want you to guess what's inside. I love eating things when I have no idea <laughs> what they are. <laughs> There's green stuff inside. It's cactus. No, it's not. What is it? Squash flowers. Flowers? Uh-huh. It's very good. The next thing is really good, too, and it's super authentic. This is authentic Aztec food? Yes, so. Wow. That is beautiful. Uh-oh. There's black things inside of it. Before your first bite, I want you to know that the stuff that is inside uh -huh. is called huitlacoche, which means excrement of the gods. <laughs> what on. is it? Just try it. Oh, it's spicy. What is it? Of course it's chicken. Yeah, chicken, right. What's the black stuff? Huitlacoche is corn fungus. It is like eating a... Um, Mushroom. But the thing is that this grows in corn. What's it called again? Wheat la coche. Wheat la coche. See? You like it. You right. like excrement. Oh, I do. <laughs> I can now tell my friends that I ate the poop of the gods. Oh my. You look very excited. I am. I am. Wow, this what's is that? Amazing. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's not my favorite. Can I eat yours? Yeah, totally. Let's trade. What is yours? It's cake. Something normal. <laughs> Did you like that? This is very good. Well, that is corn cake. You guys love corn. <laughs> this is good. Thank you very much for taking me here. Can I cheer you? Thank you.
that? I don't remember. Yes, you do. I know what it is. I know what's inside of it. It's made out of corn and it has cheese inside of it, but I don't know what it's called. Well, it starts with a T, right? Do you remember? Vitamin T? It's not a taco. It's the, it's not a t It's a tla... Coyo. Tla coyo. Tla torio. Tla coyo. Tla to <laughs> tla tla cholo tla toro. Tla coyo. Tla coyo. Oh, Jason. <laughs>
No, but it looks pretty nasty. You are totally mistaken. <laughs> this is corn fungus. It's called huitlacoche. Corn fungus. It grows on, on corn. Oh, I can see corn kernels there now. Yeah. yeah. This is ancient. This is like in the Aztec time. When they discovered the corn fungus, they tried it, and it was so good that they started growing it. You guys really eat every part of the corn. Mm, have you tried this? That is squash flour. This is really good. You can, uh, there's like flour soup and like flour quesadilla, flour. Oh, so you eat it a lot of different ways then. Uh-huh. All the chilies here are like uh, amazing. There's like a million <laughs> kinds of chilies here. Look, for example, guajillo. That is a really important chili that we use in most of the red sauces you see. Uh-huh. It's really good. Look, arbol right here. That is one of the most used chilies ever. This, for example, this is chili powder. It's also made out of these chilies. So they grind up the chilies to make this? Yeah, they make different combinations and stuff. Pasilla, mora, japonese, pasilla over there, ancho. The ancho one, you can even stuff it with meat at times. Depends on what you're doing. Even those, the big ones are like back there. Pasilla. You can even stuff those with meat, with cheese, and make a great meal out of them. Uh, right. And those are, most of them are really hot. So all these are used for cooking. Yeah, and like all the sauces that you have tried are made out of these chilies. You cut them in little pieces, you put them with tomatoes, with uh -huh. green tomatoes, right. and you make amazing sauces. Some of them are hotter than the other ones, but you're gonna have to try all of them. Try the Mexican ones. Mexican popsicles. These are called paletas. Paletas. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿De qué tiene paleta? Yours, rosella. Rosella? It tastes kind of like watermelon. Guava. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. So, Mexican popsicles. <laughs> paletas. <laughs> I'm hungry. What are we having for lunch? Please tell me you have something for me now. I do. I have tortas. Tortas. Tortas for everyone. Another but thing. First I don't know what tortas are. Oh, pick this one. Pierna is good. What is that? You're gonna like it. Oh, it's a sandwich. We have uh, these. you could say that, but I wouldn't. Why not? It's a sandwich. Because we also have sandwiches. This is a torta. Oh, really? Yeah, the bread Looks is like different. A sandwich. It's just the bread is different. Oh, so this is a torta because of the bread. Yeah. That's bueno. What is pierna? Pierna? Whatever it's inside this. Leg. Of what animal? Cow. Caiman. So how is the torta? It's made? good. I. It's great. Oh, oh. Uh, what is it? That's not good. It's good. It's not good. It's good. It's not good. It's good. It's not good. It's good. <laughs> But you don't like when people film you while you eat? Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs>